The first and only time I ever visited Prague was in Prague, so it's very close to my heart. Wait, what? Here are the stadiums of Prague, check here. E-Pet's Arena. Before you ask, no, E-Pet is not the Czech version of Tamagotchi. I believe it's just an energy company, which is much less interesting but perhaps a bit more useful. The stadium has a slightly unusual layout that is shaped by the road that it backs onto, at least in one corner where it's been cut off. I like that though, and the quirks don't end there. This stand, which I guess you'd call the main stand, predates the rest of the stadium. And so it has its own distinct triple tier design that really stands out. Studying Uliska. This stadium has a couple of features that I'm a fan of and one that I'm not. That being the track, of course. But what I do like is the way the one and only proper stand is built into the hill and offers unobstructed views overlooking the city. Also, these buildings to the south are quite interesting. They remind me of how college football stadiums might have a field house or a performance center behind one of the end zones. There's even a video board attached to it. Sitting at an even higher elevation is Stadion Strahov, which is not only one of the more unusual stadiums in the world, but it's arguably the largest stadium in the world as well. Having been used mostly for parades and demonstrations back in the day, it has fallen on hard times, largely because the country is no longer communist, and people nowadays have non-propaganda-based entertainment available to them. But yeah, a lot of the exterior could be mistaken for a crack den. Well, I was there in winter and the graffiti and broken windows were more apparent without all the foliage covering it up. It's now used by Sparta Prague as a training facility. I do like to see old buildings repurposed like that. And there's certainly no shortage of space on the inside. There's basically seven and a half fields in here. Stadion Evgen Roshitsky. Next door we have a stadium that is in slightly better condition, however it only has one field, so... This too has been semi-abandoned. Well, clubs seem to move here every few years for a brief stint, presumably when they're having work done on their own stadium or perhaps were evicted for not paying their rent. I mentioned that it was in slightly better condition compared to the one next door, but compared to other stadiums in the city, it's still in pretty poor shape. I do quite like it though. If you disregard the ancient monstrosity that was Stadion Strahov, this is the largest stadium in the city. It's home to Prague's biggest club after all. On the surface it looks like a fairly typical medium-sized modern football stadium, but there are a few cool features. Firstly, I rather like that facade. Not only the metallic red cladding, but the depictions of club legends is a nice touch. Another interesting feature is the wood-lined roof. If I recall correctly, that is Canadian cedar. I wasn't 100% sure if it was Canadian or American cedar, so I asked it what it calls those circular intersections to confirm. Oh, that's a roundabout. O2 Arena is the city's premier indoor sports venue, home to the city's two largest ice hockey teams. And it has one of the largest capacities in Europe. The design is clean and simple, and is almost as symmetrical on the inside as it is on the outside. It has all the features you'd expect from a top-notch modern arena. Decent video board, multi-tiered compact seating bowl, plenty of premium seating, not much else to say. FK Victoria Stadion is an interesting little stadium carved into the earth and dominated by the surrounding apartment buildings. Speaking of which, before this stadium came along, there was a gas works on this site. So those living in the apartments at the time certainly got a major upgrade to their view. I jokingly mentioned clubs not paying their rent earlier, but FK Victoria have actually had some issues regarding that in the past. But I think these days the local government has reduced it to a nominal fee. Sportovni Hall of Fortuna. For a long time, this was home to Spider Prague's hockey team, who have of course since moved to O2 Arena. And I can understand why. This is not only smaller, but the facilities are aging. If you ignore the large four-sided video board, 
the interior takes you right back to 1960s communist Czechoslovakia. I rather like it though. For now it's just the Spider Prague youth teams that call this place home. Starting in Dolicek. In case you were wondering about the kangaroo on the club's crest, it's not just for looks. Bohemians went on a tour of Australia back in the 1920s, where they received a kangaroo as a gift. The trip was seen as formative for the club, because as the old football saying goes, if you can win in Wagga Wagga, you can win just about anywhere. They built this stadium shortly after their trip to Australia. Come to think of it, it shares some similarities with FK Victoria Stadium, in the way it's overlooked by the apartment buildings. What a beautiful view. So there you have it, beautiful city, interesting stadiums. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching, have a good one.